Okay, let's have a look now at uh, the reserve grade final and uh, we had Canberra involved there as well uh, up against uh, Brisbane and uh, this was a match that turned out to be a draw at full time. We had to go to extra time and uh, the result, victory for Brisbane. This has been one of the gutsiest wins that I've seen. Um, you know, they came in uh, in the opening rounds of the semi-final series in uh, Brisbane and they've just toughed it out. They've had a fair bit of luck, but more than, more than luck, they've had plenty of courage and team spirit. They ended up with only 12 men on the field in the latter stages, stages of yesterday's grand final. And I was very impressed with their skipper, Ray Herring, and, uh, and also their centre three-quarter, Steve Renouf, has played well right throughout the series. And we've spoken in recent weeks about, about the 5'8", Craig Teeve, and he's also played played very, very well. It's a good Brisbane side, well coached by Bill Gardner, and they uh, became uh, Brisbane's first ever Premiership winning side yesterday at the Sydney Football Stadium, preventing a clean sweep by the Green Machine. Let's have a look at the, the match in reserve grade. In it goes by Plouff. He's looking for Plouff and coming across from that wing, but he's lost the ball. The Canberra team will come away with it. So that was a bad miss there by the Broncos. It gives possession to Canberra. They now give away a penalty, and Canberra right in the thick of it up there. It's in uh, two pieces, so he's uh, in, uh, in, in a great deal of pain at the moment, and uh, his season's well and truly over. There's a kick by Bell. It is there, so first points on the board. Canberra over the lead over the Brisbane Broncos on two points to nil. Brisbane lined out to the left as they move it through Platt to Teven. Away for Grant Briggs, and he's five metres short on the final tackle. Watch for Teven again. Richards for Teven, putting it in the air. It'll come down short of the in goal area. Pressure there for Beath, knock back, and the referee will rule the knock on on the turnover and Canberra come up with possession of the football. So once again, they've withstood uh, some strong pressure from the Broncos. Well, he, uh, to their credit, this Canberra side will go back there. Stephen, a chance. It goes out for Darren Carlin. And first point for the Brisbane Broncos. This young fellow, a great moment for him in his first ever grand final. Comes up with his fourth try of the year. Broncos in the lead by four to two. It all came from a mistake. Teeman showed good hands, got it away. What a moment for this young fellow. Tweet going to blindside. But they swing it back the other way. This is Stanton with it now. Stanton trade up the centre. But put down ten metres short of that halfway mark. So now Canberra doing a little bit of attack. They've been doing a lot of defence, but now they're stretching it out quite well. Going for the corner over there. Papaya is the dummy half, moving it to Teeman, the cutout pass for Leman, picked up by Tesman. He saw the daylight open, but he's taken just a metre or so short. Now they move it left hand side. Teeman turning it back for Tapaya. Tapaya through the dummy, and he's taken about a metre or so out of the final tackle. 20 minutes of play remain here at the stadium in the reserve grade grand final. He's come up with another goal. He's been held up. Gee, I'll have a look at that one. Move by Bill. It looked a fair try to me. Yeah, well, a fair few of the crowd uh, would agree with you, David. They started booing. Let's have a look at it now. There he is. Gee, I'd say fair try. Wally, what are your thoughts? <laughs> well, David, I'm sitting here right next to Graham Hughes, and uh, he looked like he pushed that ball about six inches underground. Captain of this Broncos sign. He in turn gets it out to the left. Teven swings it across to Ricks. Ricks getting it away outside to Teven. He sends it back, but it's going to be knocked down. Play on, says the referee. Teven trying to find a, or rather, uh, finding a way through over there was Ricks. But now it's going to be a pill. And we're taking it inside the attacking half. They move it across with Bellamy in turn for Twig. The long ball for Stanton. Weep was ghosting, trying to come in the line, but Stanton did very well indeed. Coming back at him was removed, and he wraps him up with the tackle. The final tackle for the Raiders. Out of dummy half goes Bell for Kinner. Kinner puts the little kick and chase. Rolling loose, he did very well indeed. Kinner, that's it, the fair effort. That's a good try. No double movement. No try, double movement. Oh, he's looked to his touch drive. I think it's a fair try. Fair try for me. It's a good try by Canberra and Kinner. A great individual effort. And he's put the Raiders back in the ball game. Seat belts as we welcome you back to the Sydney Football Stadium just moments ago. Craig Teeman 
swatted over this penalty goal, which has leveled the scores up here in the reserve grade grand final. It's six all between the Broncos and the Canberra Raiders. It is not one of the strong points, Wally, of the Brisbane Broncos makeup. No, it certainly is, and I think I've had about nine attempts, David, for, uh, for no successes. As we see one last ditch effort from Canberra. It's Chris Kinner. Will the defence get there? The kick and chase. Teven comes across, but the ball goes into touch. We go into extra time here at the Sydney Football Stadium. Beef, who's had an outstanding game at fullback, runs the ball out five metres from his own goal line. Toad through. A mistake. A chance. Toad. It's a try. I think Ray Herring, the captain, has come up with it. Here it is. And another mistake. Gee, I think Barnhill just couldn't help what happened there. But had the uh, Herring dives on it to put Brisbane back in the lead by 10 points to 6 with the kick that comes from right under the post. Feel sorry for this fella. But elation for Ray Herring. So now we're back here with a drive and it's Campbell on the go. This is Collins. Gets his pass outside. Renew pulls him down. Oh, good work. That was the man who took it through, they still keep going, Campbell putting on the pressure, trying to get over underneath that post, but held out, it's the final tackle coming up, pressure really building up here now, what do they do with it, let it go, and he's short of the line, no try. Now Trump got a good ball away, removed without the headgear, steps, beautiful pass away for Tevin, here's a chance for Richards. Absolutely taken out by Beat would be ecstatic at the moment with the news that the Broncos look like they've secured their first ever premiership in the Winfield Cup. There's the kick by Teven. He's kicked it. It's the Broncos in the lead by 14 points to six. And that was a full-time score. They deserve their victory. Uh, Brisbane never uh, Canberra in the reserve grade final. I do feel sorry for that lock forward, David Barnhill. Oh, well, he's a good young player too, yeah. Grave. You wouldn't believe that he would make a mistake like that in front of his own uprights, bouncing off the upright and the try there for Ray Herring, who uh, never stopped trying. He's the reserve grade hooker behind the Australian test hooker in Kieran Walters, but he's the captain of the Broncos and a, and a fine player. That was a good win, and uh, they certainly worked very hard for that victory, the Brisbane Broncos reserves, and they've got some good players there. Steve Renouf, I think, is a, is a very fine young player. Okay, so